Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to disable prevent accidental deletes feature in Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. You have set up Microsoft Entra Connect to sync accounts from your on premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. If you use the default settings during the setup wizard, all objects in your Active Directory are synchronized. However, if you later decide to filter the synchronization to specific OUs, you may face a situation where the number of deletions exceeds the default threshold of 500 objects. In Microsoft Entra Connect, the Prevent Accidental Deletes feature is enabled by default and is configured to prevent exports that involve more than 500 deletes. This feature is designed to protect you from accidental configuration changes or modifications to your on-premises directory that could impact a large number of users and other objects. Common scenarios involving many deletes includes if an OU is accidentally deleted or excluded from synchronization, the users and groups in that OU may be marked for deletion. Bulk deletion of users or groups in Active Directory can trigger an attempt to delete too many objects during synchronization. So how do we solve this problem? The default value of 500 objects can be changed with PowerShell using Enable AD Sync Export Deletion Threshold command. We can adjust this value to match the size of our organization. Since the sync scheduler runs every 30 minutes, the value represents the number of deletions detected within that 30 minute period. First, log into the server where Microsoft Entra Connect is installed. This is our Windows Server 2019 domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for the MSFT webcast.local domain. In the previous video, we used the Express settings to install the Microsoft Entra Connect tool on this domain controller. Click on Start button and open Synchronization Service Manager. This opens the Synchronization Service Manager. In the Operations tab, the status displays Stop Deletion Threshold Exceeded. In this video, you will learn how to resolve this Stop Deletion Threshold Exceeded issue. Click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Run the get ad sync export deletion threshold cmdelete to check both the object's deletion prevention and threshold count. Type the global admin's username and press enter key. Click on existing user account. Type the global administrator account password and click on sign in. If prompted for MFA, please complete the authentication process. The output shows that deletion prevention is currently enabled in our tenant. The default threshold count for AD objects is set to 500 objects. The solution to this issue is to disable the export deletion threshold using Windows PowerShell. After that, force a sync with Microsoft Entra Connect Sync and verify that the export completes without errors. Finally, revert the change back to the default setting for protection. Let's go through this process step by step. First, disable Microsoft Entra Connect Sync export deletion threshold. Type command disable hyphen ad sync export deletion threshold and press enter key. Type global administrator accounts username and press enter. This time it didn't ask for the password. The output shows that deletion prevention is now disabled. Now let's perform a full sync in Microsoft Entra Connect. Type command start hyphen ad sync sync cycle hyphen policy type initial. Press enter to start the full sync from on-premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. Remember that the initial sync can take more time. Go back to Synchronization Service Manager. Wait for the full synchronization cycle to complete. After that, check the export status. Perfect. The full synchronization cycle is completed. Check the export status. Now it shows as success. In our example, the export did delete total 553 Active Directory objects. Let's confirm this in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center and click on Refresh. And now we can see all those test users have been successfully deleted. To confirm it, click on Deleted Users. Here we can see the list of our deleted users from our ARM premises Active Directory. Once the changes are successfully synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID, re-enable the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync Export Deletion Threshold. 
To re-enable the protection, run the PowerShell command enable-adsync export deletion threshold hyphen deletion threshold 500. Replace the 500 with the value you notice when retrieving the current deletion threshold. You can also change this value as per organization's requirement. In this example, I am going to set this value to 200. Now, let's press Enter key to run this CM delete. Again, type the Microsoft Entrack Global Administrator's username. The command executed successfully. The output shows that deletion prevention is currently enabled. The default threshold count for AD objects is now set to 200 objects. And as per your organization's requirement, you can change the threshold value from 500 to 200 or 200 to custom number. In this video, you learn why the stop deletion threshold accelerate status appears in Microsoft Entra Connect. The solution to this problem is to disable the AD Sync Export Deletion Threshold in Microsoft Entra Connect. Once done, the Microsoft Entra Connect synchronization will run without errors. That's all for this video on how to disable Prevent Accidental Deletes feature in Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.